Hello Taurus, this is your reading for June. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please show me messages for Taurus for the month of June. What's going on around Taurus currently? Let's see what these two cards are. We have the Two of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Very good. Pentacles are stable. Pentacles are a foundation to build upon, right? So you have the one and a two here. There's somebody starting over. And there is someone here that I feel like um, has a lot of plans. Trying to secure their future. Somebody I feel like is getting ready for a wedding here. Whether it's yours, somebody in your family. King of Wands is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. What's crossing my Taurus? It's crossing Taurus. Two of Wands. Huh. You have two twos here. It's all about choices. What are you going to do? But the Two of Wands is knowing what you want to do and just kind of twiddling your fingers, not making a choice or just kind of, uh, of waiting for the choice to present itself, to be clear to you when you when it's clear to you. You know, it's like knowing what you want to do and still just kind of procrastinating or or waiting to see like a for sure sign if you should so i definitely feel like somebody's getting cold feet somebody's questioning whether or not um somebody is really the one here aries energy there there's a question or not question of whether or not somebody is really the one I feel like now is the time to truly make that decision before you do any other thing or take on any other um, task or add something else to your plate. It's time to decide, is this person really the one? What is the underlying issue here? Two cards. First one I see is a star here, Aquarius energy. Healing, soulmate, hope. I do feel like for some of you, this is not a planned marriage. This is a situation where you guys feel like you've lost your soulmate. Feel like there's no hope of getting this person back. And some of you feel like since there's no hope of getting this person back that you shouldn't try. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles move slowly, but they have a plan. But they plan a lot. They move very slowly. They plan a lot, but they move very slowly. So I feel like there's not enough movement going on there's there's a lot of thinking and i feel like basically talking yourselves out of something or somebody could be the other person because your energy um, this is energy so this can be the other person looking at this situation like they want to um they want to get you back but they feel like maybe it's hopeless maybe Excuse me, they've done too much or too much has happened to between the two of you. But this person definitely feels like you're their soulmate. Whoever this is, is feeling like you, the other person is their soulmate. But there's not a lot of hope there. There's a lot of thinking about what if I do this? 
then maybe they'll respond this way. You know, that type of um, situation. Hmm. That's hard. The recent past for Taurus. But what's going on in the recent past for Taurus? Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. There's this situation you invested in. You invested your time, you invested your energy into it. It did not get to the potential, um, the its full potential. It did not. But I feel like you guys have invested enough to where you don't just want to completely let it go. Or somebody else has invested enough to where they don't want to completely let it go. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm speaking from, you know, either point of view, but this is your reading. So I have to, and it's coming through so very strongly. And it may not be for all of you, but there's somebody here that wants somebody back and feels like that person is their soulmate. But they don't know if it's too late is the deal here okay you've been with this person you've invested with this person it did not fulfill its full potential but there still was enough there that you guys feel like maybe i want to continue with this and see where we can go and then i see temperance under the bottom of the deck that sagittarius energy Wanting to temper the situation. Wanting to work things out here. Crowning thoughts for Taurus. The devil. Very attracted to this person. Um, I do feel like there is some level of codependence here. There is um, there's some something that is really truly drawing you to this individual. And you feel like you can't escape it. Capricorn energy. What's coming in for Taurus? Six of Cups. This is getting back together, reuniting. There's something about this person. And it's not just a sexual thing. It's not just the fact that you love this person. You feel like there's something there that's undeniable, that's different from um, other situations that you've possibly been in here. That Scorpio energy. How is Taurus feeling about their situation? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, you're feeling confident. You're feeling like you're stable. You're feeling like um, you want to care for this person. You do care for this person. But you're thinking very logically right now. You're not overly emotional. Um, and I feel like you're really, you've been really trying to move on, honestly. Because there's a piece of you that feels like there is no hope. That all is lost. There's still some sort of healing that you need to do. What is the influence here for Taurus? Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like you guys throw yourselves into work. Um, it helps you to cope. It helps you in your day to day. I feel like also that you guys really deep down inside want to, even if you haven't admitted it to yourselves or admitted it to other people, um, deep down inside, you really want to build something with this person. You want to work on um, a, a relationship with this person. This star right here speaks volumes this is your soulmate this is somebody that you feel like you were meant to be with and i do feel like for a lot of you you feel like there was something that came in between the two of you there's something that you allowed to get in the way there's some sort of responsibility i feel like um some of you are taking on as far as this relationship is concerned maybe your anger um, maybe some of you are still angry 
with this person for whatever you feel like they've done. Hmm. Virgo is here as well. Hopes or fears for Taurus. Hopes or fears for Taurus. Eight of Wands. You want to move forward. You're hoping that you can move forward. You're hoping that this can go somewhere. Some of you are just wanting to stop thinking about this person. But I think that you're having a hard time because whenever you try to stop thinking about this person, there they are again in your thoughts. So we have two, like, I think everybody here just about thinks about this soulmate. Some of you think about how you can get them back. Some of you think about, I just want to stop thinking about them. I just want to be able to move forward, move on with my life. Okay? Sagittarius energy there. Overall outcome here for Taurus. And I have cars that flew down on the floor. So, let's see. We have the Ten of Cups here, and we have the Five of Wands. There's that conflict right there. Look, this is this is conflicting. This is conflicting. You have the Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands. This is really not knowing what it's going to take to make you happy. That's what that is. You want to be happy, but you're conflicted about how to make it happen. This is the issue here. Because you feel so strongly for this person. This is your soulmate. This is the person that you were quite possibly meant to be with, to walk the rest of this lifetime with. That's why this struggle is here. The struggle is real, guys, here. Because you feel like if you could just stop thinking about them and move on, you'd be happy. And you've tried that, I see. But they're still right here. Piscean Leo energy there. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.